This is Filipina Ghost Cousins only on Keith TV. Okay cousins, there's a reported haunting in a basin in Phippsburg, not too far from here. This one is in the form of a bipedal creature, half man half bird with wings, with a terrifying scream. Kind of like Mothman, or a harpy. Over the past 50 years, more people have reportedly heard the screams than have seen the monster. The screams is reportedly a blood-curdling scream sounding like a banshee screaming. While others believe the noises originate from foxes or other wild animals in the area. Still others claim the scream may be that of a ghost child who died many years ago. The basin is a wooded area near the ocean, long known for late-night alcohol-raged parties and shenanigans perpetuated by Randy as dandy teenagers. It originally was part of the Popham colony between 1607 and 1608 the first known English settlement attempt in New England. Later Fort Popham and Fort Baldwin were built in the areas. In 1971, the Spirit Pond runestones were found at Spirit Pond in Phippsburg, Maine by Walter J. Elliott, Jr., a carpenter born in Bath, Maine. The stones are currently housed at the Maine State Museum and are widely dismissed as a hoax. If authentic, they would would be evidence of pre-Columbian transoceanic contact and Norse colonization of the Americas. In the runestones, they talked about an oncoming storm. Many people believe these stones may have been part of the Knights Templar's attempt to hide the Ark of the Covenant in Phippsburg and the Basin Screecher is a Templar trying to keep people away from the treasure. Others believe it's Mothman, who appears in West Virginia prior to a disaster happening while. Others believe they are harpies. Even some claim it's as described in Greek and Roman mythology, a harpy, which is a half-human and half-bird. They were generally depicted as birds with the heads of maidens, faces pale with hunger and long claws on their hands. Roman and Byzantine writers detailed their ugliness. Ovid described them as human vultures. The harpies were called the hounds of mighty Zeus thus ministers of the thunderer, Zeus. Later writers listed the harpies among the guardians of the underworld among other monstrosities including the centaurs, Scylla, Briarius, Lernaean Hydra, Chimera, Gorgons, and Gerion. The most celebrated story in which the harpies play a part is that of King Phineas of Thrace, who was given the gift of prophecy by Zeus. Angry that Phineas gave away the god's secret plan, Zeus punished him by blinding him and putting him on an island with a buffet of food which he could never eat because the harpies always arrived to steal the food out of his hands before he could satisfy his hunger. Later writers added that they either devoured the food themselves, or that they dirted it by dropping upon it some stinking substance, so as to render it unfit to be eaten. The screams heard in Phippsburg happen primarily at night and no one knows where they originate from. Reportedly, when the screams are enunciated, all animals in the area begin to flee out of fear, but no tracks, photographs or recordings of this creature have ever been discovered or recorded. One legend has a police chief, named Bob, chasing a winged naked old man with a hump down a deserted road, and the police chief couldn't keep up with the creature. Officer Bob screamed at it to halt or he was going to shoot. It kept running, so Officer Bob let loose on it and shot it many times. The creature turned to Officer Bob, gave him the death stare and then gave out a death scream and then was gone. Years later, Officer Bob's son was driving it in the woods to a fuel-raged party. He dropped his cigarette and was searching for it when his friend began screaming that he was about to hit an old man. The same winged creature was in front of them. He swerved to miss the creature, only to have it begin to chase the car down the road. Even Officer Bob's wife claimed to see the creature on a cliff and jumped over it as she drove by screaming a death scream. The strangest story is of two girls named Charlotte and Kim, as told by Officer Bob's son. They were invited to an alcohol-fuel-raged bonfire party with some local horn dogs. While driving on the dirt roads, they got lost. Something reportedly ran in front of the car and while trying to avoid it, they drove off the side of the road, they now had to walk to the party. While walking, they got the eerie feeling that they were being stalked. 
they began screaming to scare off whatever it was following them, then they heard the banshee screech and had to cover their ears. The creature flew over them and they ran to the car for safety. The boys, as drunk and full of anticipation, heard the screams, ran to the girls. Despite being in the area, the boys could not find the girls. They were missing. The next morning, they were found, they had been torn apart. Their heads were never were found. Police Chief Bob kept the story quiet so as to not scare the public, but no police records, newspaper accounts or any evidence of this has ever surfaced as ever happening. That was really good and I think we should go and visit it next week. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. We're all out of Tejo anyways. Don't say that. You know what happens when you do. Thank you for watching. As always, please like, share, comment and subscribe. I hope to see you next week. Okay Everyody, that's a wrap.